Talking about liquidity, liquidity is a very crucial thing that every trader needs to have some knowledge about. In as much as you might not have so much deep knowledge about liquidity, but at least you need to know some key concepts about liquidity just for you to act effectively when it comes to the financial markets. Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. In this video, I'm going to be explaining liquidity as a concept. I'm going to be giving you all that you need to know about liquidity and how you can cite them in the market. You see, when it comes to liquidity basically the real definition of liquidity is just that it is money liquidity is money and why is money needed in the market all of this movement that you are seeing in the market is being fueled by something it is being fueled by liquidity which is money all these movements would not be happening if there is no money in the chat and the market if there is no money in the market you would definitely not be seeing all of this movement so all these movements are being fueled by something and that is what we call liquidity and there are different areas of the market whereby you can see liquidity there are areas you can literally uh know as liquidity and be able to mark out or point out as liquidity but no matter how good you are you cannot mark out every areas where you think liquidity will be you cannot mark every area out perfectly that this is where liquidity will be you know most of us are faced or are still facing the fact that markets will take you out of the market and it will immediately start moving in your direction. Most of us are still facing that and sometimes you might just see that happen. It is because the market came to take something. <clears throat> the market came to raid out some stop losses before moving in the direction. So we're going to be explaining all of that and how you can cite them here in the market. The very first thing you need to know about liquidity is that it is very easy for you to see liquidity when it has played out. Yes, it is very, very easy for you to see liquidity when it has played out. Unlike when you are just marking it up from the onset, marking out liquidity from the onset, you can't really tell if market is going to take it or not, or market is going to use it as probably break of structure or even as PO high. So you can't really tell as to where the liquidity will be taken. Now, talking about that, in the market, all of these visible highs and lows are where liquidity are resting. All of these highs, you can see the high I marked out here. I marked out and high here. This low I marked out, they are all, uh, liquidity is resting on all of them. This low, liquidity is resting on it. This particular high liquidity is resting on it. And we have different types of liquidity. If you want to know deep, non if you want to have deep knowledge about uh, liquidity, I have made some videos on types of liquidity, characteristics of liquidity. You can check that on my page. Just that I want to make explanation on the concept of liquidity here and how you can just trace them without hurting yourself so much or without getting stopped out often and often and markets will still move in your direction. So like I stated earlier, this particular high formed here, this high formed here, liquidity is resting there. This particular high here, liquidity is resting there. This high, liquidity is resting there. Liquidity rested there and this high came back to take it out. Liquidity is resting on this high. Liquidity is resting on this high, this particular high. This particular low, liquidity is resting on it. Liquidity is resting on this low. And they have different types. So all of those areas I have marked out is where you should know that liquidity is resting because some traders will be buying, some traders will be selling. So assume a trader that sold at this particular area. Where do you think the stop loss will be? Definitely at the top of this high or this particular high. That is where their stop losses will be. And what market seeks to read is stop losses of traders just for it to be the fall of the market. Assume a trader that is buying this particular market at this present moment. Where will the stop loss be? Either this low, the stop loss will be at this low or at this particular low that is here. And when 
major trader stop loss is at this low, the market will take it and still continue in the buy movement. If the majority of trader stop loss is at this low, markets will seek it and then it will still continue in the normal direction. Remember what I stated, it is very easy for you to see liquidity when it has not played uh, when it has played out rather it is very easy for you to see liquidity when it has already played out for instance i noticed the market has broken this particular high and it has taken it as on top of liquidity it simply means there was liquidity here for market to have raided this high and immediately start selling it simply means there was actually liquidity at this particular high and that is why you see that it's filled this movement to the downside and like I always say, liquidity has expiry. Now, this particular movement to the downside is going towards a particular liquidity. It is going towards another liquidity to take it. And once it has taken that liquidity, you will see that movement back up again to seek for another liquidity. It is going to seek for another liquidity. So you have to know to the fact that you cannot always predict the area whereby you are expecting market to just take and then you just jump into the market. Hence the need for extreme patience when it comes to trading in the financial market. You need extreme patience because you cannot always point out where markets will take as liquidity. Now we have liquidity validation also. I have made video about that as well. Liquidity validation simply means when we when we take a liquidity, what is the validation that this particular high or this particular low is, is a major liquidity or is any type of liquidity or maybe external liquidity. Like I said, I have made types of liquidity. So please check it out. Now, for instance, when we took out this low, when we took out this low, the only validation that will make me know that this is truly liquidity is when this eye has been broken. It is when this eye has been broken, I would be able to say, oh, markets actually came back to seek for this low as a liquidity. Now, as the market is moving, I cannot tell the direction of the market because after it has taken this low, I do not know where market is going to currently. It is still in between that particular range so until we break this particular high until we break this particular high that is when i would be able to say oh this particular low is actually the liquidity market came to rate right this is actually the low market came to rate as liquidity but the mistake we traders make most often is that we don't wait for validation that this is actually a liquidity. You can see immediately market took out this low. A lot of traders would actually enter this buy thinking, oh, assuming, assumption, assuming it is going to come back to take this particular high before all those movements. That's impatience. Most of us do that. In fact, including myself, I make those mistakes sometimes. When market takes a particular low and it starts moving in a direction, we just feel, oh, that is the liquidity. You need a validation of liquidity before you start saying, I would want to enter at this area. Now, let me show you how you would have entered at this particular area when market validated. So let's take, for instance, this is the liquidity market came to take. If we break this particular high, if market comes back to break this particular high, that is the validation that we've taking out this low as a liquidity. The next thing we would want to be waiting forward to is a continuation to the upside. And definitely market is going to like create some liquidity in between this place. And then you're going to just see that particular entry to the upside. But most often when we just have a break of low or a break of high, we assume it is actually liquidity which is not supposed to be so. We are not expected to be trading based on assumption. We should be trading based on validation. So you might make that mistake. Of course, mistakes is allowed. And it's going to make you a better person. So uh, for this particular movement, you can see this particular high has been taken and market is reacting at this PO high, but that does not necessitate that this is the high market came back to take as liquidity until this low is broken. That is when you will validate. So we are still 
inside the range on this particular market. We are still inside the range. This particular market took me out because I was looking forward for a buy continuation. At this area, you can see that we had, we had this low taken. We had this low taken, which is a sort of manipulation, which is a liquidity take. And I expected that we are going to continue at this particular PO high to take this particular high. That was my expectation. And market came back and did its wish. So I, the market is always right and I can be wrong sometimes. So that is why I just waved it off that, okay, this is, this is uh, a manipulation area and markets might choose not to continue from that zone. So it might be seeking forward for other liquidity. The second thing you need to know about liquidity in the market is that markets can literally take anywhere. I mean, markets can literally take anywhere as a liquidity. Markets can take any area you are not even expecting as a liquidity. So let's say, for instance, you are looking forward that you would sell from this PO high. Or let me not use that PO high. Let's take, for instance, you can see we've not broken this low. We've not broken this, our external. We've not broken this low that we have here. We've not broken this low we have here. So, you might be thinking, oh, since we've not broken this low, I'm just going to look for a range structure continuation for us to break that low. And you would be looking at, looking for a cell movement at this area. You would be looking for a cell movement at this area. Of course, that is also my strategy because market has not taken this external. So I would be looking forward for a range structure continuation. And you can see that when market got here, it blew out this eye impulsively. Now, that does not mean we are coming for this eye. It does not automatically prove that this eye will be raided because market can choose to take out all of these eyes before we have what? Before we have, before we have a take of the external liquidity. Market can choose to take all of these eyes as liquidity. So you need to fix it in your mind that market can literally take anywhere as a liquidity. Your job is just that you are looking forward to areas of good PO high that comes with imbalances. And then you're looking forward for your entry confirmation just for you to be able to continue in the movement. So you are not fixating that, oh, this is where trader stop loss will be. This is where uh, everybody's stop loss will be. You cannot really know it because even you as yourself, you can make a mistake and your emotions can come into play. So definitely you want to just wait patiently for market to take all the liquidity it wants to take. And then you just look out for a good area of reaction. And then you get your entry confirmation and you write up with whatever movements the market is making. You don't want to get caught up or you don't want to start assuming this is where every trader should put their stop loss. This is where um this is where every traders will put their TP or whatever. What you just want to do is wait patiently for market to take all the liquidity it wants to take. After taking all of those liquidity, then you can join in the movement of the market. And there is always a saying that I uh, got from my mentor and I am importing it in my belief till date. He always say, don't follow the market makers in making their moves. Wait for their crumbs wait for them to just finish eating what they want to eat and take from their crumbs because their crumbs will feed you more than what you want. Exactly. So you don't want to join the movements with the market makers just by saying, oh, I want to look out for the PO high the market makers are going to be entering or I'm looking for PO highs where the market makers are going to start their movements. You cannot really predict that. Just wait for them to make that their particular move and then you join them in the move after they are satisfied. That is when you'll be able to make the most money that you want to make. So that's going to be all for this, guys. You can drop your questions in the comment section. I'm going to respond to them very soon. Keep living in the atmosphere of profits.
Bye guys.